Yale University School of Public Health likes to take credit for trying to make our healthcare system, well, fairer, calling balls and strikes in the seemingly never-ending battle between insurance companies who pay the bills and the medical folks who send them, like a neutral umpire. So what if the umpire was secretly, without anybody in the world knowing, on the payroll of the pitcher? Would, would you have reason to be skeptical of the umpire? Uh, yeah. Okay. And that's what y'all did with the Yale study. I think a lot in particular about how healthcare providers price their services. Yale associate professor Zach Cooper got famous for his big 2016 research on supposed egregious medical bills from out-of-network doctors in in-network hospitals. It led to that new law to end what Yale coined surprise medical billing. It raises costs for all commercially insured uh, patients. That results in higher insurance premiums. It exposes patients to, to pretty high out-of-network bills that in some cases can really be financially devastating. That's our role as scholars, the Yale News reminded us just this year to inform the public. Zach Cooper is the umpire. But now we know from internal emails, the scholars at Yale, they made sure they hid the big source of all that bad stuff they said about doctor bills in their research. It was United Healthcare, the nation's largest health insurance company, hardly an unbiased source. It's now clear that Yale and United were working together. One email suggesting United's president was allowed to even edit Yale's work before it went public, what will amount to an academic black eye for the Ivy League school going forward. Why are there a bunch of folks from United talking to a Yale professor about what he should put in his paper. Knowing in advance what the study would say gave United Health another big advantage, a way to make sure their fingerprints were gone, to distance themselves as the deep throat, as folks like the New York Times gobbled up the story. The TV network soon followed. A trip to the emergency room is fraught with worry, but outdoorsman Tracy Davis didn't anticipate this when he shattered his ankle. United's president was pleased, piling on. Nice splash. Damaging documents being made public in a Las Vegas courtroom proved that while United dramatically gutted the reimbursements for those life-saving doctors, the insurance giant pocketed an extra billion dollars a year in profit, not giving it back to patients. And they got away with it by creating what now looks like a false portrait of a emergency room doctors egregiously overcharging their patients, in particular getting Yale to name supposed bad actors, public shaming. Team Health was one of those firms, a doctor staffing company now suing United in Las Vegas for millions. No one likes medical bills, but United knows Team Health never asked any of the Nevada patients at the center of this case to pay any surprise bills. Even Pinocchio would blush at this. This is a bald-faced lie. Are you aware of what's been coming out in Las Vegas? I am not. Maybe we can call the revelation surprise insurance billing. United knew the media would run with the Yale study, and they did, and the politicians soon followed. But five years later, Professor Cooper, well, he's suddenly gotten camera shy. Okay, if you want to send me a note, that's probably the easiest thing to do, Wayne. Well, no, I, I appreciate that, but but are you? So yeah, if you just want to send me a note, I'm happy to respond to that. All right. So we did, asking Cooper if he felt used by the insurance company. Uh, was he now going to do a new project on United's billion dollar bonanza, these explosive emails, and the ethics questions it raises about a prestigious Ivy League university? From the professor, silence. Or how about a critical update for members of Congress? United Health now pays emergency room doctors in some Nevada hospitals less than $250 for handling strokes, heart attacks, gunshots. That's 80% less than United paid those very same doctors five years ago. It was more than $1,400 then. And even the architect of United's campaign against the doctors now admits that wasn't cheating patients at all. In fact, it was reasonable. So why was United claiming they were under financial strain because of the greed of some of those ER doctors? Are you telling the jury that in January of 2017, 
after netting $830 million in 2016 for doing nothing, that there was a financial strain on United? That's certainly not what United got their friends at Yale to say. If you put it in the perspective that saving somebody's life, $1,400 is not a lot of money. But that's what emergency room doctors do. They save people's lives. Of course they do. Okay. If the media had asked the right questions in 2016, they would have found Cooper's Yale research. It was funded in part by the National Institute of Healthcare Management. Yep, the board of directors includes a bunch of insurance executives. Transparency matters. Mr. Haven. Hi, Wayne Dolcefino. A lot of references to Pinocchio during the case today. Do you think, do you think United told a lie, sir? Did, did United tell a lie? You were also called Geppetto. Was United pulling the strings on Yale Public Health? Excuse me. Really? Come on, counselor, are you gonna block my way? It's ridiculous. I'm not doing anything. I'm if this was power, right? if this was really about saving healthcare costs, then why didn't United just give all the money back to the patients? Or was this about profit, sir? Was this about pure profits? There's an old expression in my business, counselor. It's called getting busted, and those emails sure make it look like United was pulling Yale Public Health straight, sir. Were you controlling what they said? I don't think that's what That's uh, in your old business, in your consulting business for the plaintiff lawyers in this case? It's getting late. So you're accusing me of being a consultant for the plaintiff's lawyer, sir? Good day, Pinocchio. Uh, I'm not accusing you of anything. You just did. If you guys are being so righteous about this, why don't you start, stop and talk to me about United Healthcare and all the money you guys are making, like claiming that it's doctors that are cheating folks, when the, if, if you guys wanted to save money for the people, why not just give them all the money back? Did you funny face. Mr. Abel, one more chance to talk to me. This is a chance for a big insurance executive to explain to the people about healthcare costs.